first up, I laid the tool on the block to show what a difference the new axis that I chose on this, being edge of bark to edge of bark, instead of the center is making. And then I also took a little bit of time to saw off some of the opposite corners, just so it wouldn't be just so extreme out there uh, on the on the lathe. It was bad enough as is getting into there. It's not that you can take a tool and round out the whole thing because I do want to preserve the natural edge bark on at least part of the mushroom cap. So need to very carefully go in on that where the mushroom cap will be. You can only approach it from the bark side and cannot do any cuts that will go against the bark as they would be more than likely to tear the bark off. So a little bit more on the cap, a little bit more on the stem, work back and forth until it is. It looked like I was take, cutting a lot of air. It was because it was a lot of spin. Then add a little CA glue to preserve the crack and to also try and hold on the bark as if at all possible. I want that bark. That's part of the beauty of this little mushroom here. Then on to tool it down more. And as it develops, you'll see some nice cross grain action with the stem particularly. But as usual, the most difficult part is undercutting the cap of that mushroom. Because I do feel that's an important part, at least my design for, for the mushrooms. Switch down to a smaller spindle gouge. carefully work the issues. That brown streak running across is the old pith line so that would see that would be the actual grain orientation. So I do have to be careful here because too much pressure and that short cross grain would snap and I'd be left with just a chunk of firewood. Then a little bit more skew practice. I'm most comfortable with a gouge but this is a good chance to Practice more with a skew with a pointing cut, at least to work on that stem, shape it out, check that bark, make sure it's still there, Just make sure it's hanging on. If I need to apply more CA, that'll do. About now, I was called to dinner and then other things interfered and these mushrooms stayed on the lathe for two or three days before I could get back to it to finish it. During that time it dried a little bit more because it's only partially dry wood and that crack that I glued on the top opened up a little bit more so here I wanted to finish it. So I went clear through so I needed to tape off the bottom with a good layer of tape. Then I sprayed it with the accelerator because I wanted the glue to set before it had a chance to soak onto the tape too much and loosen it. So I sprayed it first, then filled the crack with, with sawdust from apricot, tamped it down as well as I could, add the CA glue, and add another layer of sawdust on top of it. After turning the cap a little bit more, I had to repeat the action just a little bit more, but didn't go clear through so I could just do it from the top side. Now I'm into the finishing stages at this point just a little bit more on the on the cap. It looks like it's cracked but that is the filled crack at this point. You can see the pith running across the top of the stem. I want to work it down just a little bit more. Aesthetically to me that's too fat of a stem. Maybe to you. Maybe it'd be okay. There's all kinds of shapes of mushrooms in the wild. What does it actually want to look at, look like? This is my choice. So I'll part off where I want the bottom to go and do just a little bit more pointing. Now that I, the parting groove would show me exactly how long I've chosen to make it. And a little bit more, cut off the, stem, the tailstock end and then very, very carefully tool that cap. I'm very worried at this point about how much flex there is from the stem 
and that short grain so I really don't want to put much pressure on it and actually probably could have tooled off that last little nub but decided to go ahead and sand it off. Went from 80 core up through 220 and then 320, 400 and 600 grit paper with the oil and wax mixture, the beeswax and mineral oil and give myself a little bit of leeway on the stem so I want to undercut that stem just a little bit before it parted off and with the parting tool parted off. I did need to sand the bottom at a slight angle to maintain the balance because straight it wouldn't stand up too much weight on one side. So with the on the stem there's some nice cross grain coming from the change of the axis. Uh, that was the risk point however through the whole turning of whether that sh short grain would hold. In the cap got a lot of bark for the natural edge. It's at a nice angle more complementary to the cap of the mushroom and I like how that turned out. Is it worth it? I don't know. It's a lot of work. It was a lot of oblong wood. Very difficult to get started on the turning but I think it turned out nice. It's up to future mushrooms and future chunks as to whether I'll go that extreme with the off axis again. If you'd like to see another project, let me know. I'll give it a try.